Thanks for joining us at Family TLC. My name is Sue Cook and I'm so happy that you've come along to our Family TLC channel. So today we want to talk about sex life after children. Who Who would have thought that that would be a topic that we would be discussing doing a video blog or a blog on? But hey, we hear about it all the time. It's not easy. What are some of the things that prevent people from having a sex life after they have kids? Not liking your body, feeling uncomfortable going through that when the body's been used for something else like having a child and breastfeeding, not getting enough sleep. That's true, right? Um, and just, you know, taking care of this third person or fourth person or fifth person in your family can take time away from that bond between two people and having the energy and the desire and the time to have sex with your partner, the person that you love. So what can you do? Well, as unromantic as it sounds, schedule it. We're going to have sex at 7 o'clock on Friday night. Hopefully some people will agree on the number of times per week but start by scheduling it. And as much as that sounds planned and doesn't sound romantic, it can work. Another thing to do is to recognize that you need to build that intimacy back up. And intimacy doesn't just come with sex. It comes with connecting with your partner, taking opportunities to have conversations or just looking at each other from across the room and remembering that connection that you have. That can really help as well. And you know, booking something where somebody else is, is going to be available to take care of the child and you can get some sleep. Don't always use those date nights for, you know, we're going to go out and do something. You know, have the grandparents come to your house and go to grandparents' house so that the child stays in the environment, but you go somewhere else and maybe you sleep and sex happens in the morning because you're not tired anymore. Remember, you're going to be tired. That's part of raising a child or raising children. Having the sex life though is important because you both need to feel that vulnerable, intimate, beautiful connection. And I want you to know, you're not the only person or the only couple that struggle with this. And it's worth getting some help to figure out how to make this happen if that's what you need. Because you wanna make your life better and you want to have a strong relationship to keep that family unit together for those children that you love. Thanks for joining us at Family TLC. It's always great talking to you. Thank you everyone for watching this video. It's great to spend time with you and I just wanted you to know that we've created these videos for you for information purposes. We're not diagnosing anybody and this doesn't replace therapy. So if there's something in this video that really hits home for you, please call and access a professional in your area. You deserve it.